authentication to this snake game and add billing and now your snake game becomes a profitable business. With today's AI and LLM tools, a solo developer can ship a full SaaS fast. You can build and test quickly, but you still need solid user management. How do you sign people in, handle teams, and get paid? Imagine you built a plumbing SaaS, an app for small plumbing companies. How would you build this app quickly so that it also lets you manage tax, customers, addresses, and invoices? How would authentication work in this app? And most importantly, how do you do it as a solo developer quickly? One option is Clerk. Clerk gives you ready-made authentication, sign-in, sign-up, sessions, MFA, social and enterprise SSO, plus a user profile dashboard accessible through Clerk's SDK or API. Put simply, your SaaS plus Clerk equals money. That's one of the easiest ways to turn your ideas into a profitable business. Speaking of Clerk, it also includes organizations for B2B. Back to the previous example, your customer, the plumbing company, can create a workspace, invite teammates, and assign roles and permissions all inside your app. This manages the company's users in your SaaS. Clerk adds billing too, so companies can subscribe to your app and pay you directly. Stripe handles the payment rails under the hood. Let me give you an example. Say company Super Pipes Corporation subscribes to your plumbing app designed to help small plumbing businesses manage their field workers, clients, transactions, invoices, etc. The client of yours, that Super Pipes Corporation, adds their admin, dispatcher, bookkeeper, and two tags with the right access to run their daily plumbing activities. You get paid for your app subscription and your client makes money by selling their plumbing services. Get what I'm saying? It's a win-win for all and at the core of this success is Clerk, which provides the components and APIs that do the heavy lifting. Let's talk more about Clerk and its authentication. Let's dive deep. Let's sign up on Clerk first. I'm going to use my GitHub for that. Authorize, create an application, and I'm on the dashboard. Now the most interesting part, I'm going to open up Trace Solo and create an app. I like Trace Solo because last time I tested it, I had no bugs, so I can use this single tool to scaffold the app. Then I can drop Clerk in for authentication. There should be no conflict at all. And the best part is I don't really need to know how to code to create a complete product. Let's create something simple. How about a shared address book for a team? Each company gets its own space. People sign in, see only their company's contacts and add notes. If you look at Clerk's dashboard, you can see the main SDKs Clerk supports out of the box. Let's build our app in next.js. I'm switching to Trey. This is my prompt. Create a shared address book for a team. I'm also taking screenshots with these instructions to share with Trey so Trey knows how to build sign up sign in pages using Clerk. I'm sharing my API keys with Trey and other details. The solo builder is working and it's creating a shared address book application for teams with company specific spaces using Next.js and Clerk authentication. I hope the AI agent understood the task clearly. Good thing is that Clerk is actually pretty helpful. If you take a look at Clerk's website, the instructions are clear. All the info you need can be copied and pasted into the chat box of your preferred LLM. In my case, it's Trey. Let's go back to Trey, click ready to build and Trey is building. Wonderful. The AI agent is now creating the environment variables file with the Clerk configuration I provided. It looks like the project has Clerk authentication configured. We have a couple of touches left. And a couple of minutes later, we have a complete app with Clerk integrated. Look at this preview page, secured by Clerk. Love it. I'll try to log in with Gmail, sign in with Google, sign in, allow access, and success. I'm logged in. This is my profile settings page. 
By default, I'm a regular user. Perfect. If I go back to Cleric and click on users, I'll see the user that created a profile on my app, myself. I can click on the connection and see last activity, primary email address, user ID, and social accounts, as well as devices used to connect. I can enable additional fields, including pass key, phone number, username, Web3 wallet, enterprise account, and two-step verification if needed. This was so so easy, the entire app creation and integration with Cleric took me less than 10 minutes. So if you want to build your working business, just spend your 10 minutes, figuratively speaking. So what do you think about Clark? Clark serves a unique purpose. It helps a project transition from a toy app into a profitable business. How do I explain it simply? If you know how to vibe code the snake game, for example, you essentially know how to create toy projects, but add authentication to this snake game and add billing and now your snake game becomes a profitable business. Put a spin on this snake game, spread the word on social media and watch users register on your app and pay you. Any idea can be converted into a business. Just add a sign up and login page to it. And Clark helps you put that business suit on and claim your spot in the small business world. I'll be back with more videos on Clark. Remember, this tool is so much more than authentication and I will level it up for you in my upcoming reviews. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, leave your comments in the comment section. I'm done for now and I'll talk to you soon. Ivan KV. Out.